This is a 52-year-old female that presents with acute onset delirium and seizures. Images demonstrate patchy, ill-defined T2 flare hyperintense signal involving the subcortical deep and periventricular white matter of the supratentorial compartment, worse in the frontal horn and periatrial regions. There is a more nodular region of T2 flare hyperintense signal within the subcortical white matter of the posterior lateral left temporal lobe and patchy T2 flare hyperintense signal abnormality in the substance of the midbrain tegmentum extending into the tectal plate. There are no suspicious abnormalities on the diffusion weighted images, and post contrast sequences demonstrate ill defined enhancement along the perivascular spaces, worse in the bilateral frontal regions. A differential diagnosis of meningoencephalitis, demyelinating disease, and vasculitis was given. Lumbar puncture and CSF fluid analysis was performed, demonstrating a cryptococcal meningitis. CNS cryptococcosis results from infection of the central nervous system with the fungus Cryptococcus neoformans. Cryptococcus neoformans is the most common fungal infection in the central nervous system. Disease is more commonly seen in immunocompromised individuals, but look for a history of contact with avian species in the immunocompetent host. Clinical presentation typically begins with meningitis or meningoencephalitis, headache, seizure, or altered vision due to raised intracranial pressure. CNS disease typically results from hematogenous spread from the lungs. Common MR imaging features include enlarged perivascular spaces within the basal ganglia with a pseudocyst appearance.